Okay, we ready? Yeah, okay. Gary, uh, welcome to Lint for the third time. And um, uh, recently, um, you played a match against your former antagonist, uh, Anatoly Karpov. Um, and uh, you crushed him quite convincingly. Uh, at the age of uh, 58, isn't he a little bit old for you? Look, uh, as we know, age is not the most decisive factor in chess. We all looked at uh, amazing performances of Viktor Korchnoi, who played uh, great chess even in his 60s and some even in sometimes in his 70s. But I think Karpov uh, is, is a bit tired now and uh, he's not uh, as dedicated to the game of chess as before. So the key factor for the game of chess is dedication. You uh, started a fascinating uh, collaboration recently with the Norwegian uh, teenager Magnus Carlsen, um, who has now moved up to number two in the world rankings. Uh, do you see Magnus, uh, d does he have something of Garry Kasparov in his play, and do you see him becoming the next world champion? Oh, he has huge potential, probably more of Anatoly Karpov in his game, but uh, uh, because of his, uh, mm, he's very fond of playing more quiet positional chess. But uh, it's, it's about an ability to play great chess. And I think that with enough determination and uh, uh, discipline and dedication, I think he has uh, a unique opportunity to uh, be the first uh, Western-born player after Bobby Fischer to become undisputed number one in the world of chess uh, for quite a while. What do you think of the level of Belgian players? Uh, definitely chess uh, was not the most popular game in this country and uh, we all expect that you know things will change and i'm very very happy that this event is established now as as, as a tradition and i hope that uh, uh, this this uh, um, televised show uh, will um, convince parents that uh, uh, chess could be a good uh, um, game for their kids to study and also will help to establish uh, chess traditions that will inevitably bring the <coughs> chess playing level uh, in Belgium to uh, a new um, new highs. You uh, impose a strict limit on the strength of your opposition here. On the, the previous two occasions you've been here, you've won all your games. Isn't it about time you slightly raise that limit to make it a, a fairer fight? Look, uh, it's still an exhibition, so it's if I want to have a fair fight, you know, I could be challenged by Karpov or by someone yeah. else. So I think it's it's having um, mm, uh, so many players here, uh, you know, it's it's already some kind of a challenge because you know I have to work, and I'm happy to to, to face a stronger position, and uh, maybe next year we have to consider you know new limits to make it more competitive. Alles kan beter met James, uw persoonlijke beleggingsadviseur van BNP Paribas Fortis.
Good evening. Welcome to the third edition of Your Next Move. We are very happy to have Gary Kasparov with us again tonight for the third time, as well as Mr. Nigel Short. Tonight we will have 26 people play against Mr. Kasparov in a simultaneous tournament. We have 17 uh, brave business executives. We have two politicians, one courageous governor, and we have six very strong children. So Gary, I wish you a lot of success in this game tonight. Okay, so Kasparov uh, has begun. Opening moves. Uh, a mixture of E4 and D4. I should say something about the... Uh, uh, players we're passing around quite uh, quickly I think uh, we're coming up to Chris Peters from the, uh, the president of the uh, Flemish Parliament and that's uh, Gabriel Feyavari Fey as he's known from Alphacom uh, it's his third time here. I, in fact, I had uh, dinner with him last night, and he was saying that, unlike the previous years, um, he hadn't done any preparation this time, and uh, he was feeling a little bit out of it. But we will see how he goes. It's... Uh, Now on to the kids, Stephen Vanden Busch, Nicola Capone, and uh, Emma R Rottier, Sam de Gra Grave, uh, Leonard Leonard's, he's 